Hi everyone, I'm Thomas Henschel, and today I was wanted to talk about some of our group's recent work on tackling sort of a fundamental problem in the query optimizer, and that's improving cardinality estimates for uh, SQL join table queries. So just for a little bit of background, um, we use a lot of statistical modeling when we're trying to improve query performance. And the optimizer uses table statistics to do things like prioritize the most selective filters, use local array, whether to use a local array or temporary file to store intermediate data, um, which indices to choose, um, and how to order table joins. And all of these concepts sort of depend on this uh, quantity called the cardinality, and just how well we can estimate it is an important topic. So the cardinality is uh, the number of rows output, um, so basically how much data we get from a query operation. And join ordering is one of the most influential decisions the optimizer makes, um, because if we have more accurate estimates, we can get better plans, and these can give us more efficient performant queries. Um, so I'm just going to jump straight to the results we're getting. So the new estimate we looked at are based on state-of-the-art research that's being done in the literature right now. Um, uh, and it's based on a paper that came out in 2023. And so when we implemented this uh, cardinality estimate, what we're finding is that most of the queries in the benchmark we were looking at were unaffected by this change. And so in this plot down here on the y-axis is the execution time of the queries in this benchmark using the new estimate, and on the x-axis, that's the current, the execution time using the current estimate. And so points that fall along this diagonal line don't have um, much change in the query execution time, whether using the new estimate or the old estimate. Points above this line mean that queries ran slower using the new estimate, and points below this line ran faster when we used the old estimate. And so, Surprisingly, we found that this new estimate is resulting in more regressions than we, re than we expected. Another way to look at this data is I can uh, look at the relative change in the execution time using the new cardinality estimate with respect to the old one, the execution time using the old estimate. And so what we're seeing is that about 81 of the queries in this benchmark didn't have much change in how much uh, in their execution time, but about 21 of them ran slower when we were using the new estimate, which is not great. And only about 11 of them were running a bit faster. So, you know, this was a bit surprising to us, and there's a lot more work to be done. Um, I'm just going to jump to the conclusion here. So our group is investing in uh, smarter optimization methods and better cardinality estimates um, with the goal of being able to improve our joint ordering. And this can lead to faster queries uh, and, and hopefully tackle those complex queries that, that you might face. We're testing these kind of state-of-the-art methods and different techniques um, to improve what we have currently. And the mixed results we're finding is helping us understand how well over and under estimation uh, affects the optimizer. Um, so just wrapping up here, you know, are there any patterns in your workloads that maybe we should be looking at or, or things that you're concerned about? Um, so thank you.